Hey guys, this is Kamiku now. Today I'm doing a review for The Maze Experiment issue 6. Before I start talking about this issue, I just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Kamiku no episode 64, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We got Archer and Armstrong issue 24, Grim Fairy Tales issue 102, Periol issue 2, Goddess Inc. issue 2, Captain Marvel issue 7, Batman Eternal, issue 23. Avengers Undercover, issue 10. Fantastic Four, issue 10. Birds of Prey, Future's End, issue 1, which I have an in-depth review for this on Comic Frontline if you want to check that out. Future's End, issue 19. Morning Glories, issue 40. Smallville Chaos, issue 2. And Just League United, issue 1, Future's End. So be sure to check out all those reviews for Comic Uno, episode 64, which is... Annotated. But let's talk about Amazing Spider-Man issue 6. Uh, I like the cover, I don't know, this is kind of a weird cover. Uh, him reading his own magazine of, oh cool, Peter Parker is in the business magazine, he has his own um, science company, which is cool. I don't know, I just thought it was like a little bit of a weird cover, but love the artwork. I really love Ramos's art. For, it's so weird to say Ramos. Ramos's art for Amazing Spider-Man. I think he has the best artwork for uh, this series. I think it's a little bit better than Capello's art. Um, but yeah, uh, the cover is a little, it's okay. I've seen a little bit better for Amazing Spider-Man, but really good artwork. Well, let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we get to see that Spider-Man, his, his, his identity is going to be revealed, and of course we all knew his identity is not going to be revealed. Silk is able to um, pick up the pieces, Peter's identity is not revealed, and J. Jonah Jameson is actually in front of the camera and blocks the view when Peter's identity was revealed. So I thought that was a little bit of a cop-out, but we all knew it was happening. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't thinking that his identity was going to be revealed. I remember I even said in my last review, I was like, I know this is not going to happen, but if it did happen, this is, what I, this is what I would like to see if his identity was revealed, which I knew wasn't going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, we get to see that. Black Cat still wants revenge on Peter. He does not care if he was Dr. Octopus or anybody. He, she just wants revenge. She wants power. And that's what she's going to try getting throughout the whole issue, is get her rank up in the villain world. And we get to see a little bit more connection between Peter and Cindy, uh, and them working together to try to get Electro's powers taken away, which they do that. And uh, Cindy's now integrating herself... Uh, a secret identity and she's gonna be working for J. Jonah Jameson and I think that'll be fun. We're probably gonna see that a little bit more in the Spider Woman series though. But I thought that was a really cool place to have her. That's pretty much it. And this whole story pretty much. Very fillerish, honestly. I, I liked it. I you know I liked it wasn't a bad story. I do like Cindy. I think it's she's an interesting character and I'm excited to see her a little bit more in Spider Woman. Hopefully they utilize the character. Hopefully it's not like Alpha, which I don't like Alpha. I'm glad they're not using him. But it's not like Alpha where they're just like, here's Alpha, but we're never gonna use him again. Uh it seems like they're gonna use Cindy a little bit more and I think she's definitely a tricky character and hopefully they do use her more, especially in that Spider Woman series. Um I thought it was a cool twist that she's going to be working for J. Jonah Jameson. But, you know, it's an okay issue. I think it's more of a filler issue to lead up. Spider-Verse and Spider-Man's like, oh my god, my life's perfect. But, obviously, it's not going to be in a, in a, a couple issues. So, and then, yeah, the next issue is going to be Spider-Verse. So, or the edge of Spider-Verse we're leading up to Spider-Verse in the next issue. I'm pretty sure issue 8 is the issue where Spider-Girl appears, which I'm super excited for. I know she's that's the one she's on the cover, so maybe we'll see a little bit of her in issue 7. But yeah, overall, I really love the art style. The artwork was really good for the series, but it's just an okay issue. Not bad, but nothing that great e either. So I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. I'm still, you know, a little skeptical on the whole Black Cat story. Hopefully we'll see that develop a little bit more that I'm okay with it, but there's some really good Cindy and Peter moments here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give it 3.5. I thought it was an okay issue with some really great art. And uh, I think, again, it's just more of a filler to get to Spider-Verse. But hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Inno. I give this three and a half stars. I do think you should pick it up, uh, especially if you've been reading the other issues of Spider-Man. I do think you should pick it up. Um, as at least you see if he gets his identity revealed. And there's some good stuff here also. And again, some really good artwork. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Inno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Inno and the Ryan Situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And also, like the Facebook page for Like Father, Like Daughter. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.